Hi, this is Ron again. Now, we did proration of taxes, which are paid annually. Now we're going to do proration of rent. Now usually, most of the time, most likely, rent is collected monthly. Is that right? And we normally collect rent, you tell me, in advance or in arrears? In advance. In advance. So on the first of the month, Mr. Seller collects the rent for the entire month. We have a closing in the middle of the month. Mr. Seller ceases to be the owner. Mr. Buyer commences to be the owner. So it's appropriate that the seller turn the buyer's portion of the rent over to him. Everybody with me? So let's say we had a closing on uh, June the 21st, which is the seller's day. And it's the seller's day only because it says so in the test question. That's the only reason, just because it says so in the test question. So we're going to close on June 25th, and this is a four-unit building that rents for $800 per unit. All right? Y'all help me out. Let's see monthly rent. Fire me up, Mike. Take the calculator. 800 times 4. Three How much? All right, so on the 1st of June, Mr. Seller collected $3,200. Is that what you got on your display there? Yeah. All right, now, how many days in June? 30 days has September, April, June, and November. So we're going to divide this by 30 days. What's our daily rate? What's it say, Mike? 106.67. All right, $106.67 per day. Joe, you with me? $106.66, is your calculator say 666666? Yeah. yeah. Just leave that in the calculator. Just leave that number in the calculator. All right, so you got $106.66666 per day. Now, closing on the 21st, which is a seller's day, so the seller owns the property for how many days? 21. 21. Lenny, you with me? Yep. All right, this number here times 21 days. What's the calculator say? 22, 22, 39, 99, 22, 40 years. 22, 40. 22, 40. 40. 40. 40. And how many cents? None. None. And no, no. cents? No. It's 23, 39, 9, 9, like rounds it up on mine. So 22, 30, 30, 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. All right, so it's $2,240. Right. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the seller, listen carefully, the seller is entitled to $2,240. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. How much did he collect on the first of the month? $3,200. $3, so he's collected $3,200. He's entitled to $2,240 of it. The rest of that money he's going to be turning over to the buyer. Is that right? And which is how much? $960 that the seller owes to the buyer. Mike, you with me? Mm -hmm. Who's going to be frowning about this? Uh, the seller, seller is paying the buyer. Frowny face debit to the seller, smiley face credit to the buyer. 960 debit to the seller, credit to the buyer. Are y'all with me? Yep. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. Everybody with me? Yes. Yeah. For sure. We prorated taxes. We prorated rent. Now, I don't think you'll see prorated interest on the exam. But just in case you do, I'm going to show you how to do it. This is with an assumed mortgage. So, in fact, let me just, let me just leave that same date there. Let's say we're going to close on June 21st. We're going to close on June 21st, and Mr. Buyer is going to assume the mortgage of Mr. Seller. Mr. Seller owes $45,000 on his mortgage at 11%. I don't know why Mr. Buyer wants to assume this, but he does. 
And um, um, so here's the deal. Now, does everybody know this? With interest, we pay interest in arrears. Does everybody know that? If you have a mortgage payment, like I have a mortgage payment, in fact, I hope your mortgage payment is in the mail today because today's the 30th of March. So you mailed your mortgage payment today and you paid your interest for the month of March. Day after tomorrow, on April 1st, you're going to owe one day's interest. Two, three, four, five. On May 1st, you'll pay your May 1st payment and pay your interest for the month of April. Now, if that's news to you, just accept it as news. But we normally pay interest in arrears. Well, so here's the deal. It's June 21st. Mr. Buyer is taking over Mr. Seller's mortgage. He's assuming it. All right? Help me out. What's the annual interest? 45,000 and 11%? $4,950 per year in interest. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Now, divide that by 12 for me to give me the monthly interest. $412.50. All right, that's $412.50. By the way, this is not the way they do it in real life, but it ain't real life, it's the exam. What they do, you pay the interest monthly, and so we prorate it monthly. So we turn this into $412.50 <coughs> per month, divided by how many days in June? 21. No, 30. Oh, 30, sorry. So our daily rate is how much per day? $13.75. $13.75 per day. Mikey with me? Mm. Okay. All right. $13.75 per day. Everybody with me? Seller owns the 21st, so how many days is the seller responsible for? 21. $13.75 times 21 days. What's the calculator say? 288.75. Who's going to be frowning about this? Seller. Seller. Frowny face debit to the seller. Smiley face credit to the buyer. Because the seller is going to turn $288.75 over to the buyer. buyer. On the 1st of July, the buyer is going to make a payment. And his payment is going to be uh, $412.50 in interest. He got $288.75 of that from the seller. seller at the closing table. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. Everybody with me? Real life, they just do three sixty-five. In real life, yeah. I figured, yeah, because that, cause it comes out to like twenty cents two per day. But that ain't the way they do it on the exam. Gotcha. That's the way they do it on the exam. I thought you said it was in the rears. It is. Why would it go to the buyer? I mean, why would it go to the buyer? Because Mr. Seller owes two eighty eight seventy five, but he can't pay that money to the to the mortgage to the mortgage company. So he's giving it to the buyer, and on the first of July, the buyer pays four twelve fifty two hundred eighty eight of it he got from the seller. Everybody with me? Everybody with me? For sure. All right. By the way, if you don't have uh, the Florida Real Estate Exam Manual for Sales Associates, you need to get it. It's an outline of the FAT book. Uh, if you don't have the FAT book, I don't know what to tell you. But it's an outline of the book that we're teaching this class out of. And it also has 400 practice questions in the back. And the 400 practice questions not only have the answer, but they have a little explanation uh, as to why they're the answer. And it has a little CD that's additional uh, questions and answers you can put on your computer and uh, get used to that. And I would highly recommend to any of you that you get this book. We sell this here at Collaborate School of Real Estate for $20. And uh, y'all can get one from me here before you leave, or you can call Kathy at 407-822. 3926 uh, to get this. You can buy it on my website, but it's more expensive. Um, anyway, uh, thank you.